the reservoir engineering is taking all the background knowledge you have of geology, of petroleum geology, of chemistry, of engineering, and putting that in together into one practical applied science. Trying to manage the reservoir, there's a lot of simplifications involved, and if you don't understand what you're simplifying, you can get very bad results. So the program was designed to give these people the knowledge to make appropriate simplifications. The first semester of the program, they do a lot of courses with other students to give them all the same level of experience, particularly in some of the mathematical skills, in economics, and in the basic geology of the petroleum system. So the second semester is much more project work, there's much more applying what you've learned, and this also prepares them for doing their own independent project, which is the third semester. We have students from electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, petroleum engineering background, and we also have people from different disciplines of geoscience, like geology or geophysics. When you have geologists coming together with engineers, in industry they tend to clash quite a lot, but the reservoir engineering course is really good at actually bringing those things together. You go on geology trips where the engineers, you know, have never touched, scratched, eaten a rock before. It's just the, what you do in geology. But then when it comes to the hard maths, so the engineers really kind of start to step it up. So getting both those skill sets in one master's course is really beneficial. We come down to southwest England, which contains the biggest onshore field in northwest Europe. And the reservoir in that uh, field, the witch farm field, is formed of the rocks that we see behind us in the cliffs here. We've actually asked them how they would model this. Generally speaking, this is a process that's usually done by the geologists, but we're actually trying to teach them how it works so they can have intelligent conversations with geologists in their future careers. The work that we were doing last term, the sort of theoretical background of the geology and the reservoir engineering kind of comes together here. It's really easy to underestimate how big reservoirs are when you're just seeing them on a map, but when you actually see the rocks in the field, you can appreciate the, the massive scale and the difficulties that kind of presents. In the last five or six years, we've been really pioneering the use of drones and other remote sensing techniques to, to collect information directly from the outcrop and take it back to the lab. And we'll put it into a special piece of software that allows us to actually completely reconstruct the cliff in the computer. So I thought it would be very useful to actually get the students engaged in the kind of data collection techniques we're using in our research so they're getting the sort of most up-to-date training. During the last three months of the MSc program, the students carry out a research project. This project can be part of the academic staff research projects or also be developed in collaboration with the oil industry. We have a really long rooted history within this city of being good at petroleum geoscience. We have the expertise within our staffing. The access that we have to industry here is second to none. Even with the recession, there's still a lot of activity in Aberdeen. There's a lot of chance to meet working professionals, to start building a network because it is still the centre of the European oil industry. At a master's level, I think Aberdeen is the ideal place to study because for me it's quite quiet. It helps you focus. Most reservoir engineering graduates will become reservoir engineers, but we've seen reservoir engineers go into management positions, go into work for local government, so it is quite vast. There are lots of opportunities in all the disciplines of energy. Anything related to energy, they can go and find a job. This master has given me the, the skills and the tools to improve my knowledge and my professional skills. So I plan to apply those, those skills that I acquired and to improve the oil practices in the industry. When I finish the course, I come back to my country and continue my job in the national company and try to implement all the knowledge I get from here. If you really want to become a reservoir engineer and if you come from, if you have the right qualifications, like you will be able to do this course. It's not easy, you need to put your back into it, but right now, I'm so glad I did it.